Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing the top 10 most influential rap lyrics of all time. These rappers in this list are very, very influential rappers with just amazing bars. And I just thought I had to show you guys these. Clearly, I'm the best candidate for telling all of you this because this is coming from a 16-year-old white male. This is the definitive list of the best rap lyrics ever created no one else has a better list than this this is perfect and if you disagree you're wrong okay i'm the only one that's right only me okay all right now let's get into the video number five if I catch you sucking another dick, you better unsuck all right i know what you guys are thinking okay i get it it's the best rap lyric you've probably ever heard, so how can this get any better? You know, one of the best rappers, one of the best rap lyrics from one of his best songs, okay? And the reason why this is so influential is because he teaches everyone that if you cheat, it's not really that big of a deal, right? You suck a dick, <laughs> just fucking unsuck it. What else are you gonna do, you know? Like, all you gotta do is if you cheat, just undo it. And that can go with anything in life, right? Let's say, you know, I'm walking down the street. I see a guy who's walking towards me. gives me a weird little death glare. I pull out a knife out of my pocket and I just stab him. And he's bleeding on the floor. And I'm just looking at him. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I just killed somebody. What do I do? How did I do this? I was literally just visiting New York for one week. And then the cops come and arrest me. And all I have to do... All I have to do is tell him I didn't do it because I undid it, right? I just pulled a knife out. I didn't stab him. I didn't do it. And that's why this lyric is so important to everything. You can't do anything wrong. This is amazing. Nothing is wrong in the world anymore. All you got to do is undo it. It's not that hard. Anyways, enough of this lyric. I know that you guys are probably super moved by this and it's the most influential thing you've ever heard and it's super integral to your being and it's just going to completely change your life but we got to get on with the video so I'm going to move on to the next one. White boy club while I'm buying a ball they like hey now you're an all-star ring any bells anything let me just you know lean back give you guys some time to think why could this one lyric be so important to humanity as a whole. I'll, I'll let you think about it. I'm just going to sit here just for a second. Do you get it? No? Need a hint? All right. So there's this, like, huge green guy in an animated movie. And he may or may not be an ogre. Ringing any bells? Ringing any bells? Nothing? I mean, if you didn't get it at this point, you're kind of dumb. I'm going to be honest, but I'll just show you anyways. Somebody once told me the world is going to roll me. Yep, that's it. That's why this is the fourth most influential rap lyric of all time. What can I say? Shrek is important to everyone. Shrek is love and Shrek is life. On to the next one. Number three. Let you feel like you were shit, but boy, you came out fuck me. How can... A shit and fart joke be one of the most influential rap lyrics of all time? Let me tell you, okay? Just, just think about this for a second. How could it be? Alright, fine, whatever, I'll tell you. The reason this is so important is because every human shits and farts. That's just a fact, right? And he's showing everyone he can make you feel like the shit, right? He can literally make you feel like the shit in your toilet that's brown and gross and it's just sitting there and you're looking at it and you're like, how did I do that big of a shit? That's pretty dope. He makes you feel like a huge shit, like super cool, you know, like put it on poop.com type of shit, okay? You can't out fart him. You can't. What goes along with farts? Sharts. That's a type of shit, right? So he will make you feel so good, but you'll just never be as good as him. Ever. Never ever. It's just not allowed. If you just have this mentality that you're better than everyone else and that you'll always come out on top, you can always outfart anybody. This is just so important. No one can outfart you, even if they feel like the shit. 
Except J. Cole. He's the exception. He can outfart anybody, I'm sure. Not that I know or anything. I've I've never on on to on to the next one. On to the next one. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Number two. Never let me slip, cause if I slip, then I'm slipping. But How? How can that be another one of these? I know you've been asking that every single time, but we don't have to talk about that. We just have to talk about this specific one because I already talked about the ones beforehand. I'm gonna talk about the ones of the future. So just shut up and listen real quick, all right? That's all you gotta do. <laughs> That's all you gotta do is just shut up and listen, okay? Stop talking and just let me talk. That's all you gotta say. Okay, anyway. You always need to have one person that never lets you slip. Just never lets you get to that point to where you're so low. Because if you slip, then you're slipping for a while. It's like a slip and slide, right? You're over here. You start slipping. Oh, no. You're going through the whole slip and slide. That's not what was meant to happen. You know, it's just like all about, it just encompasses life. And if there's someone to stop you, let's say I'm here, and you're here, and you slip, and then I catch you, you ain't slipping anymore. Right? Anyways, on to number one. All right, so we're just going to bump through a few honorable mentions before we go on. A Bebe by Hurricane Chris. It's so hot up in the club that I ain't got no shoes on. Next one, we got Young Easy by Nas. It's honey ain't a politician. She's a politician, like a stripper. Run DMC's you be illin dinner you ate it there is none left it was salty with butter and it was death you proceeded to eat it because you was in the mood but holmes you did not read it was a can of dog food i just can't believe someone would rap about that it's just so crazy that it's so good you know what i mean we got a bar by guru and it's lemonade was a popular drink and it still is just wow. Spitting straight facts. We got another one by Eminem from the song Fack. Everyone's favorite rap song ever because it's the best one. And it's shovel gerbil in your ass through a tube. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. Number one. Stop. Ass, 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 stop. 23. 23 asses in one bar that are one, like, lyric portion? That's insane. I mean, it's just stop afterwards, but, like, we don't have to talk about that because saying the stop kind of ruins the lyric a little bit just because the ass is really what's important. It's just the sex appeal, you know? Everyone loves sex, like, and it's what every company does. This is the most influential rap lyric because everyone loves it, you know? Like, you can't not love it. It's pretty amazing. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you disagree with me, um, go down in the comment section, and I'll flame the shit out of you. Um, click the subscribe button unless you disagree with me, because then I'll kill you. Um, click the like button, but if you disagree with me, then I'll stab you. Um... Yeah, but anyways, that was the most influential rap lyrics of all time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.